much pressure do you guys feel in terms of offense? Obviously, the pitching has been, you know, what it is, strong all year long. Do you guys feel any pressure to know that, you know, you guys need to perform what better at the plate to, to be consistent and make a run? Uh, I mean, pressure. We we've, we've been playing this game our whole life, you know. Um, it's it's a simple game, you know. You just got to find the barrel, but at the same time, um, you play good pitchers and you play good teams and. Um, the end of the day, it's how many runs you score. But um, pressure-wise, no, I don't. I don't think we, we feel that much pressure. I, I think that um, we we play together as a team and we come out and play every every game as a team, and um, whether it's pitching or hitting. And um, like I told you, we've we've been practicing, you know, and our hitting's been looking a lot better, you know. And you want to stay, you want to be your hottest at this time of the year, and uh, hopefully we can come out and show that Friday. Rhode Island's throwing a guy that's been on a hot streak. I, mean, I know it's not an opponent you're familiar with, but how familiar are you with what, what he's done and, and how's he gone on that run from what you can tell? Um, I've seen the numbers. You know, I haven't really seen him uh, pitch. I haven't really seen film on him yet. Uh, we'll go in there probably later and watch that stuff. But, um, you know, we've been facing good pitchers all year. You know, that, that's a huge thing being in this conference. You know, you, you, you face the big dogs. And um, I think that... Um, Coming up to this point, you know, when you play other teams like this, it um, kind of takes the nerves out of it, you know, regardless of their numbers or um, their stats. Coach has talked about maybe shifting the lineup a little bit. Have you and him had any conversations about where you could be playing, whether it's center, left, right field? Um, no, not too much. You know, we, we scrimmaged the past couple of days, you know, and I've been starting center. But um, Hopkins is, um, they kind of switched to the left sometimes, you know. But, you know, it's it's never said and done to the beginning of the game and the lineup's up. Um, but wherever wherever I'm at in the lineup, wherever, if hopefully TJ's in. If not, um, I'm sure we'll have someone in there that, that will play their heart out, you know. But uh, wherever it is, you know, we're going to have to mesh. We're going to have to play well. And is this the biggest stage you've probably played in in your career? Yes, by far. <laughs> and what's the talk about that challenge and what, what you're excited about for this weekend? It's exciting, you know. It's, um, it's, I, it's the reason why I came here. It's the reason why a lot of these guys came here, and um, uh, we're finally here. And um, it's time to play ball, you know. Um, like I said, you know, we play a And M when we play Florida. You know, that's um, I think that's uh, a bigger game than anything else competition-wise, you know. But um, you can't you can't sleep on any team in Division One baseball, especially come postseason. You take you a look don't at feel slighted at all because you didn't, didn't get that top eight national seed and you feel like you have something to show the rest of the country this weekend? Uh, I think we've had a chip on our shoulder all year, you know, from um, thoughts of last year and the things that they've went through last year, you know. So regardless of what we are, regardless if we host the regionals or not, I think that um, we're going to play with a chip on our shoulder. Um, and at the same time, it could be worse. You know, it could be a lot worse. We could be going to Miami or we could be going somewhere else, you know. So I think we just need to um, focus on game one and um, get past regionals and then we'll worry about so on and after. Co Coach mentioned to us in the preseason that when you first got here, there were some guys who didn't quite know what to make of you. That maybe you walked in with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and maybe it kind of made everybody sort of a little unsure. Um, was that intentional? Was that just you? Was that Let's go this way. We have yeah. to Let's get this real quick. Sorry, guys. Sort of bringing that kind of degree of swagger was that was that sort of something intentional was that just was that just you by nature or just kind of what led to that sort of maybe kind of strange introduction between you and your new team? Uh, I think that's just me by nature. You know, all the guys know me like that. You know, and um, they didn't know me when I first got here and came off probably kind of snottish. You know, but um, come mid fall, you know, they 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 understood and um, they respect me and I respect them and um, they. Uh, they, they lean on me and I lean on them, you know, in, in times when we need it. This was a team that dealt with some chemistry issues last year. I mean, did you feel like they needed something to restore kind of some swagger? Yes, yes. I think <clears throat> I think that, um, I mean, <clears throat> by any means, you know, they, they had guys that had swagger last year. You know, they just they just um, couldn't put it together, I suppose, from, from, you know, from their season, you know. But... I don't know. I don't. I don't think much has changed, except a new, few new faces, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, we we live together every day. We we play with each other every day, and we understand each other a lot more than anyone else. So um, that swagger and all that stuff. That's 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 instinct, you know. That just comes with it, and uh, that's what people perceive you. You know, they they perceive it swagger. But I believe that um, if you just go out and 
stay inside yourself and play within yourself, then <clears throat> it may come off as swagger, but it's still how you play and how you carry yourself. Do you enjoy talking a little bit uh, on the field? I mean, it seems like you're always having fun and chatting yeah. and talking with somebody out there. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to embrace it, you know. I don't know how long I'm going to be here, and <clears throat> um, my dream ever since I was little was to be here, you know, and now I'm here, and so I try embracing everything that I, that I can, you know. Uh, fans, they talk to me all the time, you know, DTW, DTW this, DTW that, you know, and all I do is smile, wave at them, you know. They want autographs, they get autographs, you know. But um, at the end of the day, I'm a normal person. I'm just like everyone else, you know. And um, what a, a big thing that made me realize that, I, I, I – Realize that when Jackie Bradley Jr. came back, you know, he's making I don't know how much money and he's he's doing huge things, you know, and he comes here and you would never know he was a big leaguer, you know, you never know that he started in the uh, outfield for the Red Sox and that that kind of touched me deeply. So um, he's a he's a big role model and uh, I idolize him a lot. So. How much did you look up to him? I mean, I know he was on some of those teams that you said you watched, you know, growing up in Omaha. Just how much did you look up to him then, and how does that kind of continue? Oh, uh, well, seeing him on the on the TV, you know, it was like wow, that's that's crazy. I remember, <laughs> I remember when I was in high school, you know, I, I asked my mom, we were watching, and I said, Mom, do you think I could play with those guys? Do you think I could compete with those guys? And my mom said, You can do anything you want, and now I'm here, you know. And <clears throat> um, JBJ, man, he's he's awesome, man. You know, I didn't even. When he was here, the first time he was here, you know, I wanted to talk to him, but I didn't want to come off. It was weird, you know, and he comes up to me and he says, hey, I want you to, I want to introduce you to my wife and my family and showed me everything, you know, and talked to me and, you know, it just it makes you um, wonder how, how great of a person he is, you know, when he's not on the field, you know. Do you kind of compare yourself to him at all as a player? I mean, is that somebody you model your game after? A I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't model my game after him. You know, he's he's made it. You know, I haven't made it yet. I'm still um, stepping stones, and I'm still trying to get there. You know, but um, I would love to be modeled after him. You know, look at look at his agenda. Look at his stats. Look at his history. You know, he's he's one of the greatest that's ever been here. You know, and um, I think everyone reaches for that. You, when you, do you when feel you, like you guys have something to prove going into the postseason, despite all the success you've had so far this year? Yeah, I think I think we um, have something to prove. You know, I feel like. Uh, we, we've played good all year, you know, and I, I don't think it should stop now. I think that we should keep going and um, go to Omaha, you know. I want to I wanna be an hour away from my family. <laughs> so.